Are you a long distance hiker or trail runner looking for your next pair of ultralight footwear? Then the New Balance Minimus trail running shoes are just the ones for you. Let's go. Hello long distance hikers and long term world travellers, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. Okay, these are the New Balance Minimus trail running shoes. They are an incredibly lightweight trail running shoe which can be worn barefoot or with socks. They're designed for hiking and trail running in wet or dry conditions. And I picked these up from Amazon for about 90 quid which is about 20 pounds cheaper than what you'd find going direct through the New Balance website. They come in a range of different highlight colours which are either yellow, blue or grey. They are a super minimal uh, pair of trail runners and they only weigh 212 grams which is insanely light. These guys only have a 4mm drop so they're very flat. They have an incredibly wide toe box which is really good for keeping your feet really comfortable and breathed out. They have an ultra thin mesh upper with a kind of uh, rubber mesh which is a bit like Crocs on the inside. Uh, the mush upper on the front is also incredibly breathable so these are really good if they get wet they'll dry out super super quickly. Okay so now we've talked about some of the specs let's go over some of the things that I liked and some of the things that I didn't like about these shoes. Okay so the first thing that I liked about these shoes uh, was of course the weight at 212 grams they're insanely light uh, when you're wearing these things especially if you're wearing them barefoot it literally feels like you're wearing nothing on your feet. Because these are so light these are perfect for walking really long miles uh, for running, uh, for taking to the gym, you can wear these out and about. They're a really good, versatile, lightweight shoe. So another thing that I really liked about these shoes is uh, about the build and then you can see across here you have this kind of band here. When these came out of the box, when they were new, I found that when I put these on and I was running or I was going downhill, this band here actually stopped my foot from jamming against the front of the shoe. I just thought that was a really nice design touch and something that I hadn't seen very often in uh, trail runners before. The next thing that I really liked about this shoe is the grip. The grip on these things is insane. And uh, I really like that they've made them this kind of really cool circular pattern. I thought that was a really nice design feature. I found that the good grip on these was perfect for going down grassy hills, uh, for bouldering and things like that. And coupled with a really nice aesthetic, I thought these were a really nice shoe to own. The next thing that I really like about these shoes is the fact that they're so flexible. You can actually just fold them up, stick them in the mesh pocket of your backpack and off you go. I also really love that these have been designed to be worn barefoot. I mean, I don't often do that. I quite like to wear socks because I like to hike lots of miles. I don't want to risk rubbing my feet against the material on the inside to cause blisters. Uh, but if you really want to go super lightweight and a natural footfall, when you're walking, uh, these are a really good shoe for that. Also, because you can wear these barefoot, they're also really perfect for wading. Uh, along the southwest coast path, you have to cross a lot of estuaries. And I went there uh, in the middle of last year when it was chucking it down with rain, really wet, and we could actually wade across the estuaries with these. And uh, these would actually dry out in the air as you were walking. The reason for this is because all of these materials just drain out super, super fast. So it's not like wearing like a Merrill Moab or uh, a high hiking boot because they're really kind of spongy material on the inside. Uh, they soak up that water and they take quite a while to dry, whereas these don't really soak up any of the water, they just drain out. So I'd say that was probably my favourite feature about these shoes. Okay, now we've talked about some of the things that I like, let's talk about some of the things I didn't like so much. Okay, the first thing that I didn't like about these shoes is out of the box, yes they are quite comfortable, but on my left foot, the, uh, the back of the hill was really seriously digging into my Achilles tendon. So I highly recommend that when you get these before taking these out on a really long hike, break them in first, put a plaster on that hill, test them out, uh, because that was actually quite painful. I went to the outlet store in Swindon and they said that I could send these back and definitely get a new pair but uh, I thought I'd persevere and break these in and once I did these were one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Even though they haven't got as much padding and they're a little bit tough on the heel, they were really good. Okay, the second thing that I didn't like so much about these shoes is that there's literally no cushion on the bottom. So if you're looking for a minimal uh, placement with your foot, these are great, but I do like just a little bit of added support and a little bit more cushioning on the bottom. That leads me on to the next thing that I didn't like and that's the fact that the sole is so incredibly thin. These are really good for smooth trails, wet trails, slippery trails 
trails with not many rocks on them, but as soon as you get to like a pebbly trail or one with really small sharp rocks on it, they're gonna dig into the bottom of your feet as you walk so it can get really uncomfortable. Great for the Southwest Coast Path, not so much for the South Downs Way with all those rocks and pebbles. I definitely would not have worn these on a big trek like Everest Base Camp, but maybe these would be very suitable for the first 500 miles of the PCT. Another thing that I really didn't like about these shoes is the fact that you can't just slip them on. You have to undo the shoelaces every time you put them on. I'm one of those people, I like to tie the laces once and then just slip them on when I wanna go. Whereas with these, because the fact that the neck around the ankle uh, when you put your foot in is really tight around the top of your foot, so it actually encases your foot in and there's no way of you getting your foot out unless you untie them. Which is great, I mean, if you're looking for a shoe that's definitely not gonna fall off while you're running or walking, that's fine. But again, Again, I'm a bit of a lazy boy and I like to just put my feet in without untying the shoelaces every single time. Okay, because these are so lightweight, I thought I'd talk a little bit more detail about the durability of these shoes. I must have walked hundreds of miles in these collectively already, so uh, let's take a closer look. The fabric on this pair of trail runners is incredibly strong for what it looks like, uh, but already I'm seeing some fraying around the edges. The seams are very, very well stitched but um, where they're connected to the rubber on the front of the shoe, uh, I can see a little bit of fraying and I think that's where the first holes are gonna come through. All around the upper, uh, there's not really many issues apart from that, apart from a few little bits of stitching coming out, uh, but that's just kind of general wear and tear. However, I do have a lot more to say about the wear and tear on the grip. I would have hoped that the grip would have lasted a little bit longer. I can already see that they're starting to flatten out. Again, they're made of a very lightweight rubber, so it's understandable that these things are gonna happen with a shoe this lightweight. If we look really closely on the sole, you can see some of the ones that aren't worn away actually have a really good texture on them for added grip but now these have all worn away so quickly in these hot spots, I found that they have got quite slippery quite quickly over time and through the usage. Okay guys, campfire question, what is the lightest pair of hiking or trail running footwear you've ever bought and why? Okay then folks, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. Be sure to watch either of the videos to my site here and do consider subscribing for more videos just like this one and I'll see you guys in the next one.